Welcome to the Ultimate Bible Quiz Challenge on TH Bible Quiz Channel. This is going to be both fun and educational. We've crafted a series of intriguing questions that will test your knowledge of the Bible. Each question comes with four possible answers. After a brief pause to allow you to think, we will reveal the correct answer along with its verse reference. So grab your Bible, gather your friends or family, and let's dive in. Remember, this quiz is designed to be engaging and interactive. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time to ponder each question. Let's get started. This quiz is designed not only to test your memory, but also to help you learn more about the Bible, which is the Word of God. Whether you're a Bible scholar or a casual reader, we hope you'll find this quiz both challenging and enlightening. Ready to test your Bible knowledge? Let's go! Question 1. Who built the ark to survive the Great Flood? A. Moses B. Noah C. Abraham D. David Pause for 5 seconds. Correct answer. B. Noah Verse reference. Genesis chapter 6 verse 14. So, make yourself an ark of cypress wood. Make rooms in it and coat it with pitch inside and out. Noah was chosen by God to build the ark and save his family and pairs of every kind of animal from the flood. This story is a powerful example of obedience and faith. Question 2. Who led the Israelites out of Egypt? A. Joshua B. Moses C. Aaron D. Joseph Pause for 5 seconds. Correct answer B. Moses, verse reference, Exodus chapter 3, verse 10. So now go, I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people the Israelites out of Egypt. Moses was called by God through the burning bush to lead the Israelites out of Egyptian bondage and into freedom, marking one of the most significant events in biblical history. All right, here's the next question. What was the first miracle Jesus performed? Was it A, healing the blind man, B, walking on water, C, turning water into wine, or D, feeding the 5,000? Pause for five seconds. The correct answer is C, turning water into wine. First reference, John chapter 2, verse 11. What Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. This miracle at the wedding in Cana demonstrated Jesus' divine power and compassion, setting the stage for his public ministry. Isn't it amazing how this first miracle showed both Jesus' divine authority and his care for people's needs? Let's move on to the next question. Who was swallowed by a great fish? Was it A. Jonah, B. Elijah, C. Daniel, or D. Samson? Pause for five seconds. The correct answer is A. Jonah. First reference, Jonah chapter 1 verse 17. Now the Lord provided a huge fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Jonah's story teaches about God's mercy and the importance of obedience, as he eventually went on to deliver God's message to Nineveh. Wow, Jonah's experience really shows how God can use any situation to teach us and guide us back to his path. And now, for the final question in this section. What did Moses receive on Mount Sinai? Was it A, manna from heaven, B, the Ten Commandments, C, the Ark of the Covenant, or D, the Golden Calf? Pause for five seconds. The correct answer is B, the Ten Commandments. Verse reference, Exodus chapter 31, verse 18. When the Lord finished speaking to Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave him the two tablets of the covenant law, the tablets of stone inscribed by the finger of God. The Ten Commandments form the foundation of moral law and are central to the covenant between God and his people. It's incredible to think about how these commandments have shaped moral and legal principles throughout history, don't you think? Pause two S. And now for a bonus question, what is the shortest verse in the Bible? Is it A, John 3, 16, B, Genesis 1, 1, C, John 11, 35, or D, Psalm 23, 1, pause for four seconds? The correct answer is C, John 11, 35, verse reference, John chapter 11, verse 35, Jesus wept. This verse is significant because it shows the humanity and compassion of Jesus. Despite being the Son of God, he experienced deep emotions and empathy for others. Pause three, yes. We invite you to continue reading the Bible and share its teachings with others. The Bible is a source of inspiration, guidance, and comfort for many. 
Keep exploring its teachings and let it enrich your life. Share its wisdom with those around you. Amen.